Hello, hello everybody. I will be teaching pod fit in three minutes. I'll just wait a little bit. Again, this is pod fit. So today I have two sets of weights and two blocks. I program the sequence to where you actually don't need weights or blocks, but they are optional if you want to amplify your practice or if you want to use blocks as a modification. It's up to you. Oh, hi guys! Kayla and Whitney, can you guys hear me? Just, just let me know. Just shoot me a, a little message. Or Kayla, if you're downstairs, just, just holler at me. <laughs> I'm here at my sister's house. She's a beautiful home. Hi, Mercedes. Can you guys hear me? I'll just wait a couple seconds. So again, <laughs> I can't, I could hear my sister yelling from downstairs. Can you hear me? If somebody can just like, oh yeah. There's all of these messages, cool. Okay, great. So again, I'm Christina. I am a yoga instructor at Pod, or Yoga Pod Fort Collins. And I am very excited that the studio is offering free online classes during this quarantine. Can you guys believe it's April 1st? Like I was, I was hoping to wake up this morning and they're like, just kidding, we're not in quarantine. This is all a joke. Nightmare's over but that didn't happen, so that's fine. Um, but again, so real quick, this is pod fit. So I have a set of eights and fives, so weights and two blocks. Again, I created this sequence where you don't necessarily need weights, um, but you can use weights and blocks to either amplify your practice or modify your practice. Always make it your own, listen to your body. Um, if you need to modify at any point, definitely do that. If you need to grab a drink of water at any point, I recommend doing that as well. Um, it is nine o'clock, so we're just gonna get, we're just gonna get to it. We're just gonna get to it. So, um, let's just get started in child's pose with knees wide, toes to touch. You're gonna rest your forehead on the mat, bringing your palms over your head. And just taking a moment to connect with your breath. Allow your body weight to hang heavy and release to the mat. With every inhale, fill your, off your lungs with oxygen. And on the exhale, release. Deep inhales. And exhales. Taking a moment here to set your intention. Ask yourself why you came to your space, your mat, and throughout practice today, remind yourself of that why. Deep inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, walk your palms to the right for a side body stretch on the right side. So you're gonna compress the right obliques and lengthen the left. Again, resting the forehead on the mat let your glutes come to your heels. Stretch the fingertips to the front of the room. Deep inhale. And exhale, come to back to center. Inhale, stretch to the left. Again, press, compressing the left side oblique while lengthening the right. With every inhale, Energetically bring the fingertips to the front and on the exhale, sink the glutes to the heels. 
Take one more deep breath in and out. And then come back to center. One more deep inhale. And let's do an open mouth exhale. On your next inhale, come into your tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over knees. We're gonna come into a couple of cat and cow variations. So inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward, and exhale, curl the spine into cat pose. Inhale, cow pose, gaze forward, and exhale, cat. Go through a couple of these at your own breath, your own variations. On your inhale, when you're dropping the belly and gazing forward, squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. And then on the exhale, curl your spine, tucking your chin towards your chest. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, curl. So cat and cow is very, it's an amazing warm up because we're really working on flexing, on flexion and extension of the spine here. Waking it up. Inhale into cow. Extension of the spine. And then exhale into cat pose flexion of the spine. You can also incorporate organic movement, barrel rolls. Sometimes I like gazing at one ankle, then the other. Take two more deep breaths in and out. Last one. And then when you're ready, find stillness in your tabletop. So what we're gonna go into next, next is a camel pose variation, Ustrasana. I'm working on my Sanskrit guys, so heads up. <laughs> so for here, we're going to bring our knees in, toes out like a child's pose. We're gonna sit the glutes on the heels, bring your right arm back, and then inhale, reach the left fingertips behind you. Again, opening up that heart, opening up the chest. Reach to the back, deep inhale, and then exhale, windmill the arms forward, reach, 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 until you find the left fingertips behind you, and then reaching the right fingertips. Again, we're opening up that chest here. Deep inhale, and then exhale, windmill. Let's do that two more, one more time on each side. Inhale, right fingertips come behind you. Left fingertips reach. Bring the hips forward. Deep inhale, and then exhale, windmill, reaching the fingertips forward until left fingertips come behind you, and then right fingertips reach forward, opening up the chest. Deep inhale, and then exhale, reach forward, and then find your tabletop. So we're gonna uncurl the toes, come into down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. So in this posture, you can have bent knees or straight legs. You're going to try, inter, try to bring your heels down towards the mat. If they're not there yet, that's okay. Not a problem, we're just working towards that. Bring the ears to frame the biceps. So you're gonna suck your transverse abdominis into, into your body, and this will help stabilize your core and spine. Take one more deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale, hinge into your high plank. So we're gonna move through three chaturangas here. The first one, I will show a modification. And if you have your variation of chaturangas, 
you know, do your flow, go at your own pace. But I'm gonna first drop to my knees, hinge slightly forward, keeping my elbows close to my serratus anterior, my serratus anterior is my shoulder or my rib cage. Slowly lower all the way down, chest and belly meet the mat at the same time. Inhale into cobra, pressing the tops of my feet into the earth. Slight bend in the elbows, clavicles, uh, gaze forward, chest gaze forward, and then lower down. Pike up into your plank, or your, sorry, your tabletop, and then move into your downward facing dog. So that was one. So again, if you have your own chaturanga, your own variation, go through two more of those. So I'm going to hinge forward, lower halfway where my elbows still are at my serratus anteriors. I'm going to flip my toes, come into upward facing dog, knees are off the mat, and then hinge back into downward facing dog. Let's do one more. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, leading in downward facing dog. Take one deep breath in. And to open mouth, exhale. Inhale, shift forward into a high plank. So if you need to watch real quick, you definitely can. So we're gonna come into down dog, into uh, ankle taps. So we're gonna bring opposite hand to opposite ankle, tap, and then hinge back into high plank, and then opposite hand, opposite ankle, tap, high plank. So really focus on the movement here. Hinging forward with intention, those shoulders are going to stack over the ankles. And we're just going slow here. We're still waking up the body. And then on the down dog, we're going to bring the glutes up to the sky. Really activating that core here. Think of that transverse abdominis that I mentioned earlier. That is engaged. And you will find stability here. Keep going. Use your breath. And pod fit here, we do open mouth exhales, and we use that as fuel, as energy to move us through the workout. Let's do two more on each side. One more. Even it out on both sides. And find your high plank. Deep inhale, and then exhale, find forearm plank. Forearms come to the earth. So we're just gonna do a little hinging forward and back. So we're gonna come up on the toes, hinge forward, and then come back. Hinge forward and back. When you hinge forward, your shoulders, you're gonna wanna press the shoulders forward, and then on the way back, you're gonna stack shoulders on top of elbows. This is a small movement here. You can go slow or you can pick up the pace a little bit. It's up to you. This is your fit. This is your practice. This Wednesday morning, again, using your breath here. Shh, 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 shh. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. We're going to power up into a high plank. So this next exercise, I actually kind of stole, not stole, I'm borrowing it from Kristen Lannister, or um, Kristen, who is a fit or a flow teacher here at Yoga Pod. So we're gonna bring our left knee in, we're gonna bring it to our right wrist, and then we're gonna power it up to our triceps. So we're gonna lower it down and power it up. Lower it down. Power up, let's do five more. Two, three, whew. four, five, find that plank. Whew. And then we're just gonna, in a high plank, we're gonna shift forward and back. 
Your shoulders should be talking to you. Set the belly button in the spine. You've got this for five, four, three, two, one. So again, we're gonna bring, you can come into a downward facing dog for just a second. Sometimes I need to. And when you are ready, find your high plank. So we're gonna bring left knee to right knee to left wrist. We're gonna lower it down and then rise it up to the tricep. Lower down, rise up. Lower, we have five more. Four, three, two, one. Find downward facing dog. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but I'm all, I'm all warmed up. So from your downward facing dog, you can walk or step to the top of your mat. All right, grab a set of weights if you have them. If you don't, no problem. Body weight is more than fine. I'm actually gonna grab a set of weights. So we're gonna bring our left foot forward and our right leg back, coming into a lunge here. So deep inhale, lower and lift, lower, Open up, exhale, top. So that front knee will be stacked over that front ankle. That back knee, you're bringing it down, hovering it on the earth, your mat, the carpet, wherever you're at today. If you'd like, you can keep weights or palms at heart center, or you can incorporate hammer curls. Again, if you don't have weights, that's okay. Just keep doing this action without weights and flex the biceps up top. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. Keep that lunge, bring weights or palms to heart center. And then we're just gonna rise up. And when we rise up, we're gonna twist to the opposite side. Rise up and twist, twist. Actually, let's twist at the bottom. Twist and rise, twist, rise. Suck belly button and spine here. Five, four, three, two, one. Hover that knee down and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the weights down to the mat. We're gonna bring that right leg up. Left leg is elongated for a standing L. And then we're just gonna pulse here, pulse. Flex the toes to your face. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep that right leg high. We're gonna do five knee to noses. So we're gonna inhale, knee to nose, and then exhale, push out. Four more, inhale, knee to nose, exhale, in, and out. Two more, in, and out. Last one, knee to nose, and then out. Press that right foot out. Keep that right foot raised. We're gonna do five knees to triceps. So we're gonna bring the right knee to right tricep in and out. In and out. Three more. Last two. One more. Really press that left standing leg into the mat. And we're gonna do some rainbows here. So we're gonna bring the right toes to the left, off the mat, then rainbow back, and then point the toes. Rainbow. You're kind of creating, again, an upside down U here. 
That left glute should be talking to you. I know mine is. Woo. Let's do a couple more. Shh. Shh. Use that breath. Shh. For five. Shh. Four. Shh. Three. Shh. Two. Shh. One. Keep that right leg standing. Find that lunge. So I'm gonna even drop the weights here. Bring my weight, put my palms to heart center, and then we're gonna do 10 more lunges here. So down, up, down, up. Those glutes. So we're coming. 
coming into our first cardio burst here. So this is gonna be a little different, a little bit fun. We're gonna start with some high knees. Bring those knees up. Again, this is cardio. So we want that heart rate up. This should be challenging. Challenge yourself today. Remind yourself why you came to your mat. You can keep your arms at your midline if you'd like, or for an added bonus, you can bring them up and out, up and out. Keep it moving. You've got this. Keep it going. Woo. For five, four, three, two, one. So we're gonna come into a curtsy jump squat. This is what it looks like. We're gonna start with just the right side. So you're gonna curtsy, then come to your squat and jump up. So again, just the right side, curtsy squat, then jump squat. Curtsy and jump. Whew. Keep it moving. You've got this. Really draw that back knee, hover it on the mat. We have five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! All right, and then just find your basic jump rope here. Again, you can make this your own jump rope. You can keep both feet together. You can alternate feet if you'd like. Or you can double it up and find some air. I'm just gonna walk it out because I'm talking and taking this class right here with you guys. Keep it going for five, four, three, two, one. We're coming into those curtsy jump squats again on the left side. So we're gonna bring that left leg back, curtsy squat, and then jump squat. Curtsy and jump. Curtsy and jump. Bringing that back knee back, hovering it to the earth. And then with force, jumping up, flexing those glutes up top. You've got this. Keep it moving. Five more seconds. Four. Three. Two, one, bring feet together, go post your arms, and then bring them down, and then we're just gonna twist it out here. This should be fun. Engage your core. Woo. Hop it out, you've got this. 30 more seconds, see if you can really twist as fast as you can. Suck that core in. Keep it going. Whew. We got 20 more seconds right here. See if you can push yourself. Find your edge. Twist and twist. Engage that core. Whew. 10 more seconds. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Cardio burst. Numero uno is done. Grab a sip of water. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right. Take two, a couple more breaths. Try to stay on your feet here. Keep your heart, heart forward. Let's plant the feet. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do two, let's do two more. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, deep inhale, and exhale. So from here, we're going to come into a couple of bridge variations. So again, you can do this with or without the weights, but if you have weights, 
You can bring the weight to your hip crease. Again, finding your bridge. But I guess before you put your weights at your hip crease, let's find a good bridge. So fingertips are just gonna barely come out of reach of the heels. So you're gonna re inhale, bring the hips to the ceiling, to the sky, flexing the glutes, and then lowering them down. Deep inhale, hips come up, and exhale. Again, if you'd like, you could stay right here, or you can bring those weights to your hip crease. Open mouth, exhale, chop. Encourage chin away from chest. You could stay right here if you'd like, or you can go, if you have weights or no weights, you could go post those arms, incorporate upper body with a chest fly. Light grip on the weights if you have them. Again, flexing the glutes up top. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower that bridge down. So if you have weights, we're gonna come into a chest fly. So we're gonna inhale, bring the weights up, and then exhale with control, lower the glutes and lower the weights down. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, Again, you can go at these at your own pace. This is your fit practice. I just really encourage you to focus on your alignment, what muscles you're engaging, flexing those glutes up top, encouraging again that chin away from your chest. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep those glutes up. Find that bridge. If you don't have weights, no problem. If you have weights, bring them to your hip crease and pulse. Squeeze those glutes as hard as you can up top. Really challenge yourself. See if you can bring your hips a little higher. Press those feet into the earth. You got this for five, four, three, two, one, lower them down. Bring the weights to the side. We're still gonna do some glute stuff, so don't you worry. We're gonna inhale, find that bridge one more time. Bring your right leg high, and then we're gonna lower and lift. Press your foot into the sky, to the ceiling. Bringing those glutes up high for five, four, three, two, one. Keep those glutes high and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Keep that bridge. Inhale, left leg high, and then lower and lift. Lower, lift, don't forget about that breath. Open mouth, exhales up top. Press the heel into the ceiling. Flex the toes for five, four, keep it high in three, two, one. Keep that leg high and pulse for five, four, Three, two, one, release. Whew. Inhale into a full body stretch. And then exhale, knee to nose, curl it in. Whew. One more, inhale, full body stretch. And exhale, curl it in. Let's do a couple of rock and rolls here. Forward and back. 
coming from the top of the spine all the way to the tailbone. I recommend doing at least, at least five. And then when you are ready, come up and then find your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shwanasana. You can walk out your dog here, just a second. Sway the hips side to side. So we're gonna come into those down dog, opposite foot or opposite hand to opposite ankle taps. So it should feel different the second time around. If you wanna pick up the pace a little bit, you can, but again, quality over quantity. So hinge forward into high plank, and then come into a downward facing dog, opposite foot, hand to opposite ankle, reach, and then plank. Opposite hand, opposite ankle, reach and plank. Again, if you like, you could pick up the pace, suck belly button in the spine, really pay attention and be mindful of the core here. Don't forget to breathe in this posture. I know I sometimes do. So that's why I remind you all, keep it going. Let's do five more on each side. Four. Three. Last two. Last one, even it out on both sides and find your downward facing dog. All right, so we're gonna do something a little, a little challenging, but kind of amazing. So I'll face you guys so you can see. So we're gonna do down dog push-ups. So you're gonna have your downward facing dog and then you are going to lower down and then rise up. Lower and rise. So, if it's just a little bit here where you're just kind of slightly bending the elbows out, that's okay. If you want to amp it up, you can tap the nose to the mat and bring it up. Again, quality over quantity. Open mouth, exhale up top. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep that downward facing dog. Woo! Hinge into your high plank. Inhale, bring that right leg high. So again, we're gonna do a little bit of a variation here. So I'm gonna bring inhale, right leg high, into right knee. Inhale, right leg high, and then right knee, right tricep. Inhale, right leg high, and then we're going to bring right knee to right wrist. Come up, cross over, left tricep, and then lower down. So we're creating a box here. I can face you guys, so it makes a little bit more sense. So we're going to bring that right knee to right ankle, right wrist, rise up to right armpit, Cross over to left armpit and then down. Let's do two more. Up and down, over. Up, over, down, over. Up, over, down, over. Woo! Bring that right leg back and find that high plank. Holy moly. All right, deep inhale. Exhale, bring that left leg high. Inhale, left. Left knee to left, in and out. Left knee to left tricep, in and out. And then we're gonna do those squares again, one more time, where we bring the left, right, left knee in to left wrist, rise up, cross over to right armpit, then lower down to left wrist, and then cross over. Let's do that one more time. Rise, cross, 
left, cross, rise, and then find downward facing dog. And then if you'd like, you can even find a child's pose for just a second. Knees wide, toes to touch. Deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, we're going to rise into a downward facing dog. And then hop or step to the top of your mat. So we're gonna do a, vari a, a variation where we're coming from a crescent lunge into Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. So I will face you guys so it makes a little bit more sense, but you're gonna bring your right leg forward. This actually requires no weights, by the way. Right leg forward, left leg back. Find your crescent lunge. Inhale, bring your arms over your head. Interlace, steeple grip your fingers. Release the pointer and the thumb. Deep inhale. Again, that crescent lunge, front knee stacked over the front ankle. The back leg is strong and elongated. Bring biceps to frame towards the ears. So deep inhale, and then exhale, hinge forward. Find your warrior three. Press the right foot into the mat, and then exhale, come back to that crescent. So that's gonna be our action, our movement. Go through a couple of those, or several of those, at your own pace. Really focusing on hinging forward, pressing the standing leg into the earth, finding Virabhadrasana, warrior three, and then coming back with control to that crescent lunge. Again, keep it going. Don't forget about that breath. And then come back with control. Find that crescent. Let's take five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that crescent here. Deep inhale. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Prayer twist to the right, bringing the left tricep to the right knee, and then rise up. Lower down, and rise. Three more, lower, and rise. Last two, lower, rise. Last one, lower down, and rise. Inhale, rise up, rise up here. So we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna bring that right leg back, left legs forward. Inhale, bring the palms up, fingertips up. Release pointer finger and thumb. Find that crescent where the front leg, front knee stacked over front ankle. That back leg is elongated. And then again, we're gonna to come to a crescent lunge into Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Hinging forward with control and then lowering back with control into that crescent. So go through a couple of these at your own breath. Really pressing the standing leg into the mat, into the earth. Your biceps are framing your ears the entire time in this posture. Again, quality over quantity. Woo! As you can see, I'm shaking here, and I'm really focusing on that balance. We're doing a lot of balancing standing leg work today. Whew. Let's do five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Find that crescent lunge, bring hands to heart center. We're gonna prayer twist to the other side. Right triceps, come down to the left leg, and then rise up. Let's do four more, lower down, and rise. Three, two, last one. Rise up, shake it out, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. How you guys doing? I know I'm sweating over here on this end, so I hope you guys are too. All right, we're gonna come into a second cardio burst. So again, a cardio burst, we want that heart rate up. So really, really try to challenge yourself here. Let's get started into some basic butt kickers. 
bringing the heels to your glutes. See if you can make connection. You can keep your arms right here if you'd like, or you can bring them up and out. Again, cardio as fast as you can here. Really challenge yourself. What was your intention today? Why did you come to your mat? Keep it moving for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna find Malasana Yogi Squat, heels in, toes out, squat, and then rise up. Squat and rise. You can stay right here if you'd like, or to level up, you can find plank and then jump up to a malasana. Plank and jump up. It's up to you, your variation. Keep it going. Use your breath here for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna come into a ladders, a ladder workout. So if you have weights near your mat, uh, move them off. Come to the back of your mat. So we're gonna do out ends, out ends from the back of our mat to the top. So we're gonna go out in, out in, out in. And then we're gonna flip to the other side. And then we're gonna do like ski moguls where you jump from one side of the mat to the other. And then once you get to the back of the mat, out in, out in, out in, out, rotate, and then jump. Keep it going. Woo. And then jump. I'm right here with you guys. You've got this. Let's do one last one. Out in, out in, out in. And then jump from one side of the mat to the other. Whew. All right. And then just find a jumping jack here. Basic jumping jack. Or if you'd like, you can cross ankles, or if you really feel feisty, you can find some star jumps. Just keep it moving. You got this for five, four, three, two, one. How are you guys doing? <sighs> Grab a sip of water. Wipe off some sweat. Do a mental high five to all your peeps who are doing that pod fit class with you right now. <sighs> Bring feet together. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, hands to heart center. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Deep inhale. And exhale. Hands to heart center. So we're going to come into something. We're going to come into chair pose. If you have weights, you can grab weights. Utkatasana, chair pose. Lower the hips down. Feet are, feet and Inner thighs are together, kind of like this. And we're just gonna squat pulse here. Shh, shh. Bring that chest forward. Shh. Gaze forward. Shh. If you have weights, press them together. If not, no worries. Press palms together, heart center. Shh, shh. For five, shh. Four, shh. Three, shh. Two, shh. One, sink into that chair pose. Wiggle those toes. If you have weight, awesome. If not, no problem. Keep the elbows close to the midline, coming into tricep kickbacks. Use your breath. Again, gazing forward. Suck belly button in the spine. You've got this. For 
five, four, we're gonna pulse in three, two, one, keep those arms high and pulse in, really sink into that chair pose, Utkatasana, for five, four, three, two, one, keep that chair pose, bring the weights to heart center, we're going to hinge slightly forward again, weights down, we're going to find a chest fly, inhale, rise up and lower, Really sink into that chair again. Press those glutes back. Upper body, you're squeezing the shoulder blades together, the scapulas. Pretend that there's a grape that you're holding in between your scapulas and you're trying to burst it. Five. center. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. All right. So we're going to come into another variation here. It's a tree pose variation. Rikshasana. So how this looks. So we're going to start by bringing, inhale, bringing that right leg high. And then we're going to pulse it out right from one. And then we're going to bring it out to a 45 degree angle and then 90 degrees. Flex the right toes. Press the left foot into the earth. Let's do five more. Unfortunately, I don't. Someday I will, though. Whew. Rise up 
and lower for five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Should we go it out? Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Inhale, Urva Sasana. And then exhale, forward fold. Find your variation of a forward fold here. Whew. All right, so we have our last burnout, 60 seconds. So we're gonna do chaturanga push-ups from the knees or the toes. And then I will encourage you guys to amp it up a little bit if you'd like. So again, from the knees or the toes, you're gonna keep the elbows close to your serratus anteriors, those, your ribs right here. We're gonna lower and lift, lower and lift. Again, so we're gonna do this for 60 seconds. Don't you worry, I'll time ya. I'm gonna get it ready here. If you'd like, again, amping it up, coming from the toes. We'll get started here in five, four, three, two, one, keep it going. Shh. 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 Again, for the 60 seconds, I encourage you to move the entire time. Shh. If you have to drop down to your knees, that's okay. That's okay. Ooh. Shh. Use your breath. Shh. 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 Keep it going. You've got it. Shh. We're halfway there. Shh. Those triceps should be burning. Shh, you can do it. Shh. What's your why? What's your intention? Shh. Keep it moving. Shh. Keep it going. You've got it. Shh. 15 more seconds. Shh. Shh. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, woo, child's pose. Woo, good job. Good job, homies. Oh, resting that forehead on the mat. Letting the body sink into the mat. Resting the glutes on the heels. Deep inhale and exhale. Take one more deep breath in, and open mouth, exhale. Inhale, rise to your tabletop. Inhale, right arm high. And exhale, thread the needle, bringing your right shoulder and right ear on the mat. Pressing the glutes towards the back. Coming back to your breath, deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale, arm up, right arm high, and then exhale from that tabletop. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, thread the needle, bringing the left shoulder and left ear onto the mat. Right arm can come forward. The glutes press to the back, connecting with your breath. Filling your, your lungs with oxygen and releasing. Take one more deep breath in and out. Inhale, rise, left arm comes up and then exhale from tabletop. Inhale, find hero's pose. Resting the glutes on the heels. Inhale, bringing those arms up high. Coming into a tricep stretch. Releasing the right arm down. Left hand comes to right knee, or sorry, right, right knee, right elbow. Gazing forward. Deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, both arms come up high. 
and then exhale, left arm comes behind you, right fingertips come to the left elbow. Deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale, fingertips come up high, and then exhale, hands start at center. Inhale, find your tabletop, stack uh, ankles on top of one another, bring knees towards your wrists, and then hinge back into a high plank, or sorry, a high boat pose, deep inhale, and then exhale, lower down. Inhale, right leg high, hamstring stretch on the right side, interlacing fingertips, behind that right hamstring. So a couple variations here. You can keep that leg long, or you can have a bent leg, bringing your fingertips in front of your shin. Your variation of a hamstring stretch, you can even go through both of them if you'd like. Bringing that knee towards your armpit, maybe even doing a couple of rota um, circular rotations clockwise and counterclockwise. Deep inhale, and then exhale, come into a supine twist, stacking hips on top of one another, gazing forward or to the opposite side. I notice that the time is 9.59. If you have to go, that is okay. I encourage you to do your cool down at your own pace. Inhale, left leg high. Again, your variation. Thank you so much for choosing to come to your space today. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're still here with me, take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Deep inhale, find supine twist on the other side, stacking hips on top of one another. I don't know about you guys, but what is challenging me now more than ever is having the, the discipline, the self-discipline to come to my mat. So I applaud each and every one of you for having the discipline to come to your mat today. Take one more deep breath in and out. Deep inhale into a full body stretch. And then exhale, curl into a little ball. If you're still here with me, you can find a happy baby pose. If you'd like to end your practice, whatever you need, whatever kind of postures, feel great in your body to finish your, pra your fit practice today. One more deep breath in and out. And if you'd like, you can find your final Shavasana. Resting your body on the mat. Again, thank you so much for choosing to come to your space today. My name is Christina. This was a pod fit class. Uh, if you would like, I mean, Yoga Pod is offering just so many amazing things right now online for free. So, so I know we have fit classes, we have flow classes, we have hot classes, we have yin classes. If you're interested in any or all of them, I recommend you try each and every one. There are, they are on the Yoga Pod Facebook page. So I believe we have four live classes throughout the day. But, if, but you can go back and then re-watch some if you'd like. So again, my name is Christina. Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your Wednesday. Happy April 1st. New month. New intentions. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>